now is 6.08 this morning. There's still not a plan in place to remove the Confederate monument in front of the Madison County Courthouse. Well, this morning at 10 o'clock, the group Move the Monument will once again go before the commission to ask for action. Joining us right now live via Zoom is a member of that group. She's the daughter and got a granddaughter, that is, of local civil rights icons, Sonny Herford and the late Dr. Sonny Herford, Catherine Herford. Good morning to you. Good morning. Thanks for having me. You bet. Thanks for coming along. As you know, about a month ago, the State Committee on Monument Protection and local leaders worked with the Attorney General's office. They said they wanted to move that statue to another location. We haven't heard back from the County Commission Chair nor the Attorney General. What do you expect to happen at today's commission meeting? Well, I have in my hand a copy of the Memorandum of Understanding um, and assessment of, penal, of civil penalty. And this is the document which State Attorney General Steve Marshall officially informs the city of Mobile that he's fining them for violating the 2017 law. And it's signed here by the uh, Assistant Attorney General and the city attorney for Mobile. And it simply states that Mobile is fined $25,000 and they agree to pay the fine within 30 days. Now, I'm showing you this to show you that it could all be so simple, but it seems like the county commission would rather make it hard and they could just pay the fine and move on. And Mobile is showing us how easy the process actually is. So, so they, the county, are, they, they don't have. Yeah, Catherine, I think they are aware of that. Do you plan to push that again today in today's commission? Absolutely. Absolutely, because there's no reason that we can't do that here. There's absolutely no reason we can and should do that here as well. Catherine, I have to ask you, do you think that they're just hoping no action, if they take no action now, that time will just go by and maybe this kind of gets swept under the rug? I think so. I think that's happened in the past and they've been comfortable and complacent, but we can't be complacent any longer. The time is now, you know, this is past time. It's, it's beyond wrong. You know, um, speaking for the Tennessee Valley Progressive Alliance, we've raise the money to pay the fine and I've offered it again and again. But, you know, speaking for myself, I think that the uh, citizens of Madison County have been extremely patient and very um, obedient, honestly. And I think it's very generous for most of us to concede that it can be moved to Maple Hill Cemetery, which is still public property. And honestly, I don't want another dime of my tax money going to the guarding and upkeep of this abomination, this uh, affront to human decency. Mm -hmm. You mentioned the group Tennessee Valley Progressive Alliance. They say they came up with a $25,000 to pay that that fee, that fine, if you will, from the state. I mean, so, so this morning as we're speaking, how do you move forward with an action plan on that? Well, you know, just like Mobile did, I think that that is a, a great action plan. I think that that is something that we can do and we can expect our leaders to do, to have the integrity and the courage to act on this because there's no reason not to you know people there is a legal speed limit and people choose to break that all the time and ideally what happens when you get caught is you pay a fine and the state set this fine up and it is our alternative we have a choice so to act like our hands are tied in this is disingenuous and they need to untie their hands and get it done it just does seem like everything has stalled right now. We'll see what ends up happening. Another commission meeting today at 10 o'clock. Catherine Herford, thank you so much for joining us this morning. She is with the group Move the Monument. Thanks for being here, Catherine. Thank you. Time now, 6-11 on your Wednesday morning.